It is Saturday, May 27th, 2023. I'm here in Santa Maria at the Fair Park for the annual West Coast Customs Cruising Nationals. I did film this one last year. Uh, it was a massive show, so it's a lot of walking, a lot of amazing hot rods and customs and plenty of classics to check out. Uh, and it's a really nice, supposed to hit a high of 65 today, so the weather uh, shouldn't be too hot. It's perfect for a car show. But for, without further ado, let's go get started and see what's here. So they always get the most amazing customs at this show. So I might be doing the Studebaker show tomorrow morning. I depends on how bad my feet are after this video. That's down at La Palma Park in Anaheim. Of course, uh, next week I'm probably going to do Huntington Beach Concourse on Saturday on the 3rd. And coming up uh, the week after that, I got Road King's show in Burbank. And be sure to check the uh, tentative list of events I'm planning on hitting. It'll be in the uh, video description. Of course, we've seen this one several times at uh, Grand National Roadster Show. Very nice 56 Chevy with a uh, chop. The uh, Packard tail lights. This work's going to come through in the camera. Take a look at the uh, a little bit more of the lace work in the paint. Furnished in Cadillac lights. Fifty six Chevy Nomad. There's the old tune port Corvette motor in it. Nice Ford F one hundred pickup. Reminder that the next Pomona is June 25th, so that's when the next Pomona is. Uh, 
got uh, Volkswagen headlights on a Studebaker. Very nice 62 Cadillac Custom. Seven Ford Fairlane with a Continental kit. Custom Mercury Comet four door. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Our plaza building. Our patina uh, 55 Coupe de Ville. And also, our, our, one of our friends here, uh, legendary. TV star is here. Eric Estrada is here signing autographs. Oh, geez, Eric Estrada is here. Okay, if you ever get a picture with Eric Estrada and post it on your Facebook, it will be your number one most liked and commented photo of all time. Because I, I did that, and man, my comments just lit up. This uh, 56 Nomad. I believe this was parked in the same spot last year. Six Mercury. Six Ford. Of course, that Riviera. I will announce that yesterday I picked up some Strombergs 97s at a uh, estate sale, random estate sale, and I'm like, Huh, what are these doing here? 
I'm not picking them up for a very good price. It's kind of an unusual find. But I was happy to pick them up nonetheless. Now this 63 Eldorado convertible. Hey, right on, love the videos. Everyone subscribe, the videos are great. Yeah, be sure you subscribe and tell a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Click the buttons. Click the buttons. All right, so that was obviously a viewer. <laughs> All right, so okay, so we got a, a viewer wanting to get in the act. So there you go. <laughs> he was very excited to be on camera. So hopefully, he shares it with all his friends and they all watch the video. Clean F one hundred. Nice 55 Pontiac. So I will announce that I did find a roof for my 1969 Impala. Uh, Pick Apart got one in with the correct roof, so I went down there with a sawzall and cut it off. So hopefully I'll be getting that done hopefully sometime this summer. So I won't have that uh, vinyl top with the rust infested roof. I can progress on that car. Pumpkin. Oh, oh, that, that. So that was a very good find. And I did not shoot a video last weekend. Uh, I wound up doing the Crew World Fest, and it got shut down early due to thunder showers that never materialized. So they did the rest of the concert the second night, and I said, I'm not doing a car show, and then going back to a festival concert. Yeah, it was. So I decided not to uh, shoot something uh, last Sunday morning. That's how they didn't have everything. It, it was static. Yeah. yeah. So that's the problem. You start to get a ruckus on that. What's going on with this nail head on this uh, channeled you know, I read Buick? I'm going to try to get a longer yeah. shot so you can get a better idea of what's going on with this one. Of course, it's drawing quite a crowd. Oh, thanks. Thunderbird. And I, I do bees and bees, so right now it's like my busiest time of the year. That's our first C10 of the uh, video. Yeah. 
line of Chevys over here. And this El Camino, the 64. So I was so happy to get that roof for my Impala. <laughs> so <laughs> that just uh, was a huge relief to find one and obtain it. There's one you don't see very often. 58. Bel Air Tudor hardtop. Usually you see the Impalas. You don't often see the uh, Tudor hardtop Bel Air. Traditional hot rods here. Got a right hand drive. He wants to work. He hooked up with the girl that. Yeah. Yeah. It's 54 convertible. Let me show you some of the bombs. Clean suburban. Not a sixty four Plymouth Super Stock four twenty six cross rams. battery in the trunk for the proper weight distribution. Uh, 
This uh, 1940 Ford Deluxe Coupe. Very original looking. Let's get the uh, more modern upholstery there on this primered Cadillac. A nice Eldorado convertible. The only problem I have is it's nice to pull it way to the right. Oh, is it now? Uh, yeah, I think you're going to line the big exterior. Oh, oh really? Yeah. 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 62 yeah. Bel Air. Shut the shit out of car. It's got a bit of the uh, custom work there on the suspension. Step inside for a second, and uh, the Bears people have the Batmobile on display from the television show of the 60s. Oh, it's so cool. I remember with Adam West and Burt Ward. My other indoor car was this early Falcon Ranchero. Well, I like got 60 or 61. 52 Ford. Graffiti reference there. So what'd you guys do? I went. I went around that way. So it's 1960 Ford Starliner. Shoot this here a little bit of walk through style since there's no music. The 
I just looked at the time and it's actually taken me I've actually almost been here two hours already so it does take a lot longer to film these than uh, the actual length of the video Depends on this uh, Chevy pickup. Yeah, it's gonna take a weekend to do it. I don't know. You know, I don't have. That's, that's what I told her. Yeah, it's just, uh, you remember last year was much hotter at the show last year. Like I said, this is actually perfect car show weather, especially when you're going to walk the whole thing and film it. Nice first uh, Janet Conaline panel van. You look at the interior there. Shoebox 50 Ford. Chevy fleet line of the uh, nice interior. Uh, Studebaker bullet nose hot rod. I am going to try to make that Studebaker show tomorrow in Anaheim. Not 100% sure if I will be able to, but we'll find out, I guess, uh, if the video pops up. <laughs> Got 58 Chevy taillights in it. Custom Sacramento out of Roma. I actually managed to miss that because uh, I believe it was the weekend I went to the uh, Bakersfield Street Ride show. I couldn't venture too far away from Southern California that weekend, unfortunately. Oh my god. 
Chevy. Maybe you look at the top on that one too. So they got a rockabilly band over here, so I can do longer shots and hope it doesn't flag for cover. You kind of learn all this stuff after you've been doing YouTube for a while. Nice little falcon. I guess we're, no, it's the second falcon. We saw that ranchero inside. Ranchero, another ranchero. Two boxes with flathead V8s. So I was looking at that estate sale yesterday and there's a box that just has it had a few 97 carburetors, so they gave me a price for the whole box and I said sold. I was like finding stuff like that at random estate sale. I said hopefully I'll be getting my 40 back on the road.
last year to film this section before they start doing the announcements and the uh, auction at the end. So we'll do this for right now. July. Now they're doing like the Moon Eyes open house. I think that's the day before Long Beach. I'm still going to try to do that Good Guys Pacific Northwest if time and finances allow. And I have one weekend uh, mid July where I'm not going to be shooting a video, so I'll have to figure out how to put something up that weekend. I think I've got a couple other shows listed on the uh, tentative list, which will be in the comment section shortly after the video posts. I can't actually put it in the comment section until the video is live. Thank you. Board with a chop. I see a lot of chop sedans. Bottle opener on the uh, trunk lid there.
61 olds. What you got, Cat? Chop on this one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite versions of that song was done by a band called uh, Hollywood Fox Fats. Hollywood Fats, yes. Great Al Blake on the harmonica on that one once again. We are Catfish and the Hollywood Hound Dogs. Give us a big old howl, everybody. Woo! What about you? <laughs> Just feeling it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Little Studebaker. yourself once again we're catfish in the hollywood hound dogs from of course hollywood california yes, yes, once again it's so great to be here ladies and gentlemen chris smith is on the space right here give him some love hey come on now bill bates on that guitar of course put your hands together one more time right here and that's tony wyckoff too many drivers, ladies and gentlemen. That that highway road all the way up here, man. Let's go ahead and do it. Enough. That's 57 Olds Fiesta Wagon, four door top.
say there's one in every car show, and there it is. There it is, your 90s throwback. 90s car show throwback. The 90s, those were like on every car at car shows, and nobody knows why. like an extra long bed. It's custom Mercury. It was definitely starting to fill up. Yeah. A bunch of flies up there. <laughs> so the crowds are rolling in now. saw that on TV <laughs> so if you have a motor trend subscription real 
Plenty of cars to see here in Santa Maria. Chopped step band. This was here last year as well. All these were here last year, but not all of them. How about a Kaiser? All you orphan car fans. I always love the yeah, eyebrow on these. They have a unique feature on Kaisers. Seven Pontiac. Thank <laughs> you. 
Carb manifold on the uh, Cadillac V8. Got to pause for that. Oh yeah, easy. But the one across is There's Lincoln. This one is for sale. I'll show it to you. Why not? Swap meet rules apply as always. It's got a uh, 350 Chevy in it. And it's always check the dates of the videos. I can do that since I'm not doing Long Beach this month, or next month, sorry, in June. But Long Beach Swap Meet is the same day as Road Kings, so Road Kings is the one I'm gonna film. I'll be back for Long Beach, uh, I believe, in July. Sixty Pontiac. If you mind, if you're watching this video, I still haven't been on the backfield yet. <laughs> so there's a lot of cars. <laughs> the 39 DeSoto. Interesting tail light tree when they're on that 58 Ford. It's old uh, stick bed truck. We're actually on the backfield now. I'm 
golazo de los videos. This uh, truck. No idea what's going on. Of course, this one's drawing quite a crowd. You don't need as much lift, but this also has it. Got a Pink Panther themed. Panel. So the owner of this uh, 55 Chevy, he's a uh, viewer on the channel, so I told him I'd get a really nice walk around on this car. <laughs> Very graffiti-esque. Actually, my kid is starting to text me asking me when I'm picking her up, and I'm like, I'm literally like three and a half hours away. <laughs> so, probably three with, tra I mean, with traffic. It took me two and a half to get up here. I don't expect to be too much uh, beach city traffic today, even though it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so it's a little gloomy on the coast. It's not like super beach weather right now. GMC van. So be sure to tell your friends about this channel if you think they might be interested. I do check my analytics. It says a lot of most of my viewers are people who watched my videos before, which is good. But I know as of late they have not been promoting it to new people. So if you have any friends family members who you think might be interested in watching 
car show videos, be sure to refer them. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you haven't subscribed yourself, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Well, he just has them there sitting, so that's not my song. Black and yellow. The plates are 057. So that's what he has. That's what he has. It's already there. It's already ready. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. power on this uh, five window. So that's what you do when you win the trophy, you put it on your hood. Radiator for this case. Pretty sweet road screw though. Pontiac Grand Prix 64. Dressed up flathead. Nothing wrong with that. There's a nice uh, Buick convertible. Those are 56. Interesting color on the 65. Big sunroof. Oh, 
Another 56 Buick. This one's a hard top. It's a pretty crazy seat sign here. I don't know my window because it could be hot in here. <laughs> You too. station wagon, villager. Ford Country Squire Woody. Text the offers too. Those are my favorite. I will not give you price. 62 Cadillac. Yeah, I see this. I'm 
And a neat with a utility bed. Lots of patina. Very traditional roadster. I used to daily drive one of these, a Ranger two-door post just like this one. Custom. Beller with the uh, roof cut off. I always mention I used to daily a 58 Bel Air four door sedan at one point. And this is how many years ago it was. I paid $1,100 for it and drove it home. So that should tell you exactly how many, about how many years ago that was. That price would not happen today, for sure. I don't know 
Get it all. I want to see that video on YouTube. <laughs> They would have run to a lot of people who watch the channel at <laughs> this mate. I run to a lot of people as it is, but this meat especially. It's always nice. <laughs> little Ford wagon. <laughs> There's a Ford look, guys. Here's a 60 Plymouth four door. A 64 Impala station wagon. Nice big uh, Lincoln Continental from the 60s. This one is a 65 model. The Chevy Cameo pickup. Not sure if I get around there to have my conference. So a Studebaker Lurk with flames. We saw this one here last year as well. I seem to remember filming this one. This is the first 60 Impala we've had this video. I don't think we had a 60 earlier in the video a couple 59s Well, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to make Studebaker tomorrow. My daughter wants me to pick her up tonight, and uh, she does not really like to hang out at car shows, so <laughs> we will see what I can do. At least I was able to come up and bring you this show here at Santa Maria. I think this one was a must hit for me. And speaking of 60 Chevys, it's a 60 two-door wagon, 348 tri-power. It's kind of a neat car. Yeah, it's a 59 El Camino.
Pickups. Nice 59 wagon. Almost like a flat blue. Check out this. Very interesting 57 Chevy pickup truck. The skirts and all. Neat business coupe. It's big, it's obnoxious, and it's got a Cummins diesel in it. That's all you really need to know. Ford F100. Metal flag on this Lincoln. I walked up, looks like when you guys come No, the other thing is thinking that's all we can do with it. going to wrap things up here at Santa Maria Fair Park for the Cruising Nationals for 2023. Uh, this was an awesome event. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make Studio Baker. Next week, I'm planning on doing the Saturday Huntington Beach Concourse. I guess there's different cars each day, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'll probably only be able to do the Saturday one uh, so I can get a video up for you on that weekend, since I, especially since I missed one last week. Uh, lots of other great events coming up from the channel. After it posts, uh, if it's not immediate, I'll probably within the few hour, first few hours, I'll be able to leave a comment with the tentative list of events I'm planning on hitting in the future. Uh, there will be stuff added to it. There will be stuff that I, I might miss. I don't know, but that's usually what I'm planning on hitting 
Uh, so at least it gives you a good general idea. Uh, so be sure to like, subscribe, let me know what your favorite car was, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.